Mark Elko, in his first season as the head coach at Duke, won nine games. And now he's entering his first season as head coach of Texas A&M. And he has a top 10 roster. All right. Texas A&M may have lost a lot of talented big name players to the portal. But they still have recruited so well that a lot of the guys from their last couple of recruiting cycles are still there. And you also happen to have one of the better quarterbacks in the SEC returning and Connor Wigman. Now, when Connor Wigman was healthy, he was pretty good. Now, with him being in a better situation, their offensive coordinator is really good. You know, he's been productive everywhere he's been. And the staff that Mel Elko has assembled around Connor Wigman should be able to have Connor Wigman playing like a top three quarterback in the SEC this year. They also have really good receivers. They got a really good offensive line. And defensively, they should be way better than what they were last season. Like, it's crazy how we all had questions about how good was the offense going to be and the defense was going to be a lead again. And then it seems like the roles were reversed. The offense was good, but the defense sucked. It's just like they can never have the best of both worlds. This year, you can be a truly balanced football team. And Connor Wigman, giving you consistent quarterback play, is what's going to allow you to hang around in the new SEC. Because you see, the SEC is really tough this year with, you know, the new changes that they made to the schedule, getting rid of divisions, conference realignment has just changed a lot of things with the dynamics of this conference. But for Texas A&M, though, you know, thanks to that, they got a really big break because a lot of their toughest games this season, guess what, are at home. And with Mike Elko having a really talented team, he's going to be able to beat these teams like Texas or Mizzou, LSU at home. It's like the football gods bless Texas A&M with one of the easiest schedules and the most difficult conference in college football. Like, their biggest road game this year is against Florida or South Carolina, depending on who's going to be better or maybe Auburn, who possibly could be a team that ends up, you know, coming out of nowhere and surprising everybody under Hugh Freeze. But Mike Elko, without the schedule lines up for him, your toughest road game being against Auburn? Come on, like, there's no reason why Texas A&M possibly couldn't win maybe 10-plus games. And that gets me to my biggest point. You know, this could be one of those hires that just works right out the gate. Remember Brian Kelly, his first season at LSU, he hit the ground running. Lincoln Riley, year one at USC. Mike Elko. With the talent that he already is inheriting, the fact that he was able to win nine games his first season at Duke, I really don't see how Texas A&M isn't a factor for the SEC championship this year. The talent's there, the coaching is going to be there, and the schedule lines up perfectly for them. This could be a magical season for Mike Elko. And every year, there always seems to be a first-time head coach or head coach at a different school for his first season that ends up just having a Cinderella run. We saw it happen with Sonny Dykes at TCU. We saw it somewhat happen with Lincoln Riley, his first season at USC, Jeff Brom this year at Louisville. Well, last year, you know, so Mike Elko, with how good of a coach he is winning at Duke, if you're sleeping on Texas A&M, you better wake up. Because this is a really good team that Mike Elko has going into 2024. And the SEC is wide open. The only teams that really are, like, really up there in terms of the hierarchy of who's a lead, who's going to be in the championship picture, is Georgia, Texas, and Ole Miss. And Ole Miss is beatable. And so is Texas and Georgia because you have rosters that are good enough to go toe-to-toe with them. Maybe not Georgia, but probably Texas. Because guess what? You're in Texas, so you got the same access to money that the Longhorns do. 
You know, so you can buy guys out of the portal. You can buy guys out of high school. It doesn't matter. So Mike Elko, man, I'm trying to tell you guys, his first season is going to be dynamite. Just watch. Just watch.